What's going on folks and welcome back to another scum video. I hope we're all doing well. Isn't this game absolutely gorgeous? It is getting better and better on every single patch, isn't it? Now, for some of you guys uh, that, that watched um, the Q&A we did the, a couple of weeks ago, you guys would have seen some of the up and coming metabolism features and even some of the um, visible features that you would see, especially when getting hypothermia and hypothermia and, and, and even when you're getting shot, they're trying to change uh, the way the screen reacts to these situations. Even when it's too hot, you start sweating and, 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 and visibly see sweat coming down on the screen before you, uh, before you catch hypothermia. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. Um, but check this out. This is actually really, really cool. So if you look on the screen now, you'll see one image. Uh, I don't have the other images for this, but if you check this image out very quickly, before we go on to the main image of the video, um, you'll see that there is ice all around the screen here. Uh, which says you're getting basically too cold, so you need to make sure you have the, the, the clothing that actually keeps you warm. Um, now, the metabolism feature will be coming with 0.6, they have stated, which is great because um, I know it's been a bit of a nightmare with the metabolism in the past. They've had to, you know, 0.5 it was supposed to be there, but they just wasn't ready. Um, and I'll give the devs the respect for this because they don't want to put out crap, you know, to say it loosely. Um, they, they want to put out a decent working... Uh, feature within the game which is the main selling point to scum uh, is the metabolism and so many people are talking about this I'm talking about this and this is what we want in the game right now so I'm guessing there'll probably be a discussion down below uh, about what's you know could potentially be coming into the game uh, we know the motorbikes and we know the forests are coming in guys so there's a couple of images here of the new forest that was also posted out on the Twitter today um, and if I haven't mentioned it already, because it is uh, five o'clock in the morning right now, um, I will post a Tommy Slav's Twitter handle down below in the description. So you guys will see that there. So that is a picture of the forest, but this is the one that really intrigues me right here. This is this is the the star of the show on Tommy Slav's tweet that he posted out uh, yesterday. So you can see that we have a power line, and we have uh, we have the the power line. Um, coming towards us as well you got a couple of poles there now this is something that was in other survival games but how are we going to utilize this in this game i don't know but this is something that devs always do they always surprise us with things is this just something for scenery or is this something we can actually utilize within the game um so i'd love to see i'd love to see what your guys uh what you guys think about this down in the chat down below um but it would be cool to see something being used with this because originally um, what was going to happen was that pre-fortified structures you could eventually put electronics in there. Fridges and stuff like this, even uh, wind, like even a little wind turbine that can, uh, you know, somehow filter water or electric, not filter water, uh, a wind turbine that can create electricity within your base. Uh, and you have these water filters as well that you can make with tarpaulin and, and a bucket and a, a funnel or something like that and a filter. So, you know, who knows if they're still going to be coming into the game as well. Um, but you'd be able to power a lot of your appliances within within the game uh, to, uh, by by power. And that's something that's going to that, that will be really, really cool to see. But I currently right now, I don't have any idea how this is going to be utilized. Like, can we, you know, potentially, you know, damage these? Can we knock down power? Can we put the power on for certain towns at night time? Will the lights all go out at night time? Who knows? Like this is this is this is really intriguing for me personally, because I don't know how it will be used. So I want that to sort of be the the discussion down below. How you guys think this is going to be used here? But this is really cool. And like I said before, guys, you don't see a lot of this stuff on Twitter. And this is a pretty big deal. It's a it's it's a big feature to have in the game, uh, having power and stuff like that. And the game's come a long way. It really has come a long way. Um, and it's just looking even more and more gorgeous every single patch every single patch um, And I absolutely love this so uh, So that's just what I wanted to put out today guys I know it's only a five minute video or so, but uh, I hope you did enjoy it uh, and, and taken something new from it like I said we've got the motorbikes and the metabolism of 0.6 I think I, d I don't know if they're gonna be separate if the motorbikes gonna come out before 0.6 um, when do I think 0.6 is going to come out? Because I know you guys are going to ask this. I'm guessing probably 
within a month, maybe t maybe two months max, but I've got a funny feeling it's within the next two months. They've already posted out the artwork, which you can see here. They posted that out last week. So by posting this out, it must mean they are on the road to posting point six. But who really knows? I'm guessing within the next month or two max. Um, but I'm still going to continue to play, continue to still have fun. Um, if anyone is, uh, if anyone wants to uh, start their own scum server, by the way, I do have an affiliate link down below. Please use that um, to start your own scum server, and they will look after you over at Ping Perfect as well, guys, as they do power Pixel Junkies and our event server that we have as well. So, uh, guys, thank you very much for your time. Uh, have a lovely Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.